Hello fellow tutors, teachers, and Jupiter Ed users. Um, I'm Tracy Robinson and I wanted to share with you something else that I've learned about how to do on Jupiter that you can do to make your life a little bit easier. If you notice on the left of the screen you have tabs for all of your classes and as you click on each one you cycle through and you see um, what you have planned, the assignments that are available, um, etc. and so forth. So um, sometimes it's clear what that class is. Like for, for some of these, um, we added some descriptors. Like this is first period algebra three, first period algebra one, second period algebra two, so forth and so on. But what about down here at the bottom? I have V1 and V2. I don't really know what those are. I know that one of them's a virtual first period and a virtual second period. Um, but I, I think I would like to know exactly what the subject is. So I'm going to add that. You can do that by clicking Setup, Classes and Subjects, and then finding the class where you want to change the tab. The tab is listed here. So I'm going to click V1 here and Edit. And I'm going to change that instead of V1, I'm going to say V. PF because it doesn't matter what period it is virtually because you know they're taking it at home they're not taking it during a specific time so I'm going to take out the one and make it say VPF so that's personal finance virtually and I'm going to do the same thing to the ACT prep class I'm going to edit that to say um, VACT and I'm going to save that so now I know that this one is my personal finance virtual class and this is my ACT just by looking at the tabs here. Now there's something else that you can do. You can also combine classes to see them on one screen if they are identical classes. So let's say you have more than one language arts class and all three of those classes or, or both of those classes is the exact same lesson plan. So you can combine those and look at them on one screen or let's say you've got three history or three geography classes and they're all the same class same lesson plan everything you can make it easy on yourself and combine them into one view so when you grade those assignments that are identical in each class you only have to do it through one screen you can see all of the students responses and grade them all at one time so I have uh, one class like that and that's business and technology so I'm going to click on business and technology and click edit and then I'm going to click for it to be combined here with business and technology. And that's going to be the plus that I have at the bottom of the screen. So now when I click done, um, you can see the plus sign. So when I click plus, it, both of these classes are going to be highlighted. And that is what is going to be shown. I'm going to see all of the students for that class. So here's the students for that class. If I take plus off, I just see the students in this class and I just see the students in this class, which is great for taking attendance. But when I want to grade assignments, I want to grade all the assignments together because it's just a lot easier, right? So um, let's say that I have an assignment that I need to have in both classes. For instance, um, let's say this organizational structure and ownership of a business. I'm going to click that and I'm going to say copy and I'm going to make sure that it is in the business and technology six period as well by, by just by checking it. I've copied that assignment over to that class and I say okay. Now um, I'm going to hit the plus button and done and I can see that assignment listed for both classes here. So that is how you would do that. You would go into the first class, click the copy button, copy that assignment to the second class, and then it will show up when you click the plus. But it has to be assignments that are in both classes in order for you to grade them from one screen, if that makes sense. If you have any questions about that, please feel free to ask on Friday. Um, but it's just, it's not mandatory. It's just something that will help streamline your grading procedures, especially if you have three or four classes that are all the same assignment. You're going to have to, if you don't combine them, 
then you'll have to go from one class to the next class to the next class grading the same assignment multiple times. And it just could get a little um, humdrum and not humdrum, that's not the word, monotonous. That's the word <laughs> to grade the same thing four times when you could pull all of the students' responses up at once and go through them from one screen instead of having to hop from one to the next to the next to the next and try to remember what all you were doing. Um, just a way to help you um, save some time as a teacher. And as I come across new things that'll help us save time uh, or discover, you know, more efficient methods, I'm going to continue to share those with you through a video. And I will post the link on our um, group text. And I will see all of you ladies on Friday. I am excited to get some modules done and to help you plan things out and show you how to do some cool stuff because, you know, I'm a geek like that. And um, I will see you then.